I have wondered how to make a mineral moon shot for a long time. Uh, so I got some great advice off my friend Joel, so thank you Joel. Um, but I thought I would share how I actually went about it. Um, most of the guides I see about how to bring out the sort of mineral composition of the moon, because all we're doing here is exaggerating the colours to show certain differences on the surface, um, different mineral compositions kind of show up with subtly different colours and you can really exaggerate that. Um, so yeah, I uh, most of the guides I could find were Photoshop based, I don't have Photoshop, I um, use Linux on my desktop machine and I edit photos typically in Darktable, which I think is a great piece of software, it's a non-destructive um, photo editor. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just in case anyone else is also not on Photoshop, or if you're just inter interested in how to make a mineral moon, I thought I would show how I did it. Uh, you can check back uh, on how I use Planetary System Stacker to create a stacked and wavelet sharpened image of the moon. So I demonstrated one half and all I've done here is done the other half of the moon and then merged them together in Huggin. And uh, we're going to work on the stacked sharpened, stitched moon to bring out the colours and make a mineral moon. Uh, I hope this is useful and I hope you enjoy watching. So here we are in Dark Table. Um, this is our moon. I had a bit of a glitch with Huggin, so it's not, this one's not perfect. I not, wasn't sure what was going on there, but uh, good enough for our purposes today. So first thing I want to do is just get rid of some empty space. Yeah, let's zero in on what we're dealing with. Um, so yeah, like I, like I was saying, like I only found Photoshop guides for doing this. Uh, so the, the Photoshop guides talked about adjustment layers, and I don't really know what they use. I don't know what those are, or what they do. Uh, but I th I think the process I've have worked out in Darktable, I think it's I think it's the same. Uh, maybe someone can put me right uh, if it's not. So yeah, the mineral moon. It was a mystery to me for a long time. Um, but as far as I understand it, uh, we don't have to over or underexpose the moon to get the, the minerals out. We just need a good signal to noise ratio. And what Joel told me that was key here, because I, I'd, I'd taken sort of, you know, stacks of 50 to 100 lunar shots and put them together before, but he encouraged me to, to do a video, which I did. Um, and you can appreciate the difference between 50 to 100 shots in total versus collecting a few minutes of film where each second is 25 frames. So, you know, every four seconds, if that's your frame rate, you're getting 100 frames. And then, you know, here we're looking at sort of 200 plus images. And those are the ones that Planetary System Stacker thought were the best and has put them all together in here. So we've got a good signal to noise ratio. Uh, I think that's all important. Uh, so yeah, uh, basic uh, in Darktable here, can I get our basic adjustments tool? And I'm going to add a bit of saturation, maybe, I don't know, 0.3. And then I'm going to duplicate basic adjustments. So now we've got two sets of basic adjustments, both adding 0.3. I wonder if it's in serial or parallel. I don't know, a bit of a side thought there. Does it go in order? Does it add? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, duplicate the instance again, and again, and again. And we can see the colors have started to come out now. Um, it's kind of lighter browns here. Blue in Aristarchus and uh, some other Sort of the new, I think it's the newer craters that get blue. Can't remember. Uh, and 
you can start to see some reddishness coming out there, pinkish sort of colours. If I go a bit wild and duplicate it a few more times. That's hurting my eyes a bit now. <laughs> so of course it's like your taste, how far you want to stretch it. I mean, it's, it is real. I mean, the colours are real, but you know, how, how, how far you take it is your own artistic choice. Uh, I guess just experiment as well. So I've, I've got, I mean, I think that's okay. Uh, that's six adjustment, seven adjustment layers, if that's what they are. I've got seven basic adjustment tools, instances, and each one was 0 0.3. I mean, maybe you get different or better results by using more layers with less saturation or some different combination, but in any case, uh, yeah. If you wanted to get even more into the fine tuning of colors, Dark Table has RGB curves, RGB levels that you can play with, filmic RGB, um, so you can actually change the look in different ways if you wanted to. I mean, yeah. And then maybe in one of the basic adjustments, maybe in the first one, you could sort of play with the contrast to to get it how you want it. Yeah, all a matter of individual taste and preference, but I hope this is helpful. And if you make a mineral moon, be sure to uh, send it my way and let me know. Uh, I'll be intrigued to see it. All right, take care. Goodbye.